Looking at this first house, we got some uh, a lot of stuff in the gutters. They ask a whole bunch of questions now before they uh, give you the code to get inside the lockbox. That's okay. At first, I was like, man, we wasted our time coming out here, but in we go. Go down in here. It's a little fireplace. It's, looks kind of like our fireplace, you know, just a little bit. And I can already tell you right off the bat, you know, if this were our living room, it wouldn't be a whole lot of space to uh, do much of uh, really anything, right? About the same size. One thing that's different that we don't have over here, this is the dedicated dining area. I always like dedicated dining areas. You see, you got those nice, what are those considered, like bay windows or something? I don't know, but I do like that dedicated area. And this is the kitchen. Nice refrigerator. Counter space, good, but I don't like this. That wood looks old and cheap, but look, check that out. It's an electric stove. I like uh, gas stoves or whatever, but um, you know, this fridge is pretty much like our fridge. It's just uh, silver instead of, uh, well, we have a silver one, don't we? Our fridge is silver. It's very similar, I guess. And then over here, this is kind of odd, but you see how they got this right here? Like this other little desk mm -hmm. or whatever, like right here. Looking at the pictures, this is the best part about this place that I liked was this area right here. This big, long, expansive area with these big windows with a lot of natural light. And it's got a pretty high fence. So, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, people peeking in unless they're like, you know, 10 foot, 10 foot tall. And then it's cool because you got those outlets all the way down here. If I were to, you know, start recording things, I would record in here. Yeah. I would definitely record in here. You know, I appreciate the built in right there. So you could, you know, put some stuff right there. All right, let's go upstairs. Like I said, you can't spend too much time in here because it's going to get really cold. It is. So this is a pretty deep closet space. You can really put some stuff in there. And then over here is, this is the half bath. Half bathroom here, you know, just the half bath. It's all good. In here, this is the, gr no, this is the washer and dryer area. Whoopsie. And then I'm guessing this is the door to the uh, garage. Yep, it's a pretty big garage. But yeah. That's one thing that we would like to have this time around is the washer and dryer inside of the, uh, yeah. inside of the house. Uh, this, hmm. the this is the, I guess this would be the master bedroom. Yeah, this is definitely smaller than ours. You know, just the way the house is shaped. But here's the bathroom. Bathroom is bigger by far. His and hers. His and her sinks. Little separate area right here for your for your toilet. And uh, here's the ooh. So I guess these are kind of like your walk-in closet, sort of split off and uh yeah bathtub shower combination there's gotta be some stairs somewhere in here isn't there? where are the stairs oh here we go okay i was like where are the other rooms all right so let's go upstairs oh i slipped a little bit got some uh wood floors here this will be the uh, second bathroom, or the first full, well, yeah, the second one. Don't like this. It's like it's a pretty mm -hmm. crap job. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what is that? Yeah, not a fan, not a fan of that. Okay, this seems kind of dangerous. Yeah, it's pretty good Yeah, here's the second bedroom. Very small. Very small. Mm. I'm really feeling that. They got recessed lighting up there, which, you know, I guess is kind of neat, but. And then this. Oh, a little, little spotlights here. I'm kind of, this makes me feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like standing there. And lastly, this is the other bedroom, pretty much identical to the, to the other one. Small room, 
It's got a ceiling fan. It's just kind of low. Um, yeah. I you know, I do like the little track lighting right there. The only thing is, when the track lighting light bulbs go out, <laughs> are you going to change it? Nah, that's for that. You're going to need like a big ladder to get up there yourself to change those light bulbs, which is not something I'm very keen on doing. Call them and be like, change our giant lights. Yeah, that's the best part about it. The best part is, uh, is this big room right here. It's by far the best room. You can tell, like, you know, this carpet is definitely a little bit newer. You know, they did some effort, some work around here, but, uh, you know, it still shows its age in some ways. All right, so here's the other house. It is very close to the other one that we just looked at that we didn't like. Uh, but I can tell you right off the bat, I'm kind of liking this one better already. It seems to be in a nicer part of the neighborhood. And yeah, it looks pretty nice so far. It's got two car garage separated by that brick. And it's got this little somewhat different walking space right up here. We already opened up the door, so. I'm going to get the wife and we're going to head inside and see what this house is all about. So upon walking into the front door, you got a couple of different options here. You can either go downstairs into this area or you can go upstairs into this area. So it's like a little split level thing as soon as you get here. But let's go up the stairs first and just take a look around, see what's uh, see what there is to see. So I guess this will be kind of like your living area. It's got the fireplace right here. So you got that fireplace. There's the key to turn on the gas and everything. Got some cobwebs in there. We got some loose screws right here. Not too sure where those screws are going to. But as you can look over here, there's your window. There's the banister. And that's basically, well, that is where it looks like from the uh, from from the door. So there's the ceiling fan, but it's missing the uh, it's missing the little you know little knob thingies that you usually have the decorative dangly bits <laughs> that's missing from there. And then it extends all the way to uh, down here. Now based on the furniture that we currently have inside of our house, I can tell you that if we put that sectional in here, well we would have more room down this way. But then this also is the dining area right off the kitchen. So this will also be the dining area. So this right here, we got to see what's going on downstairs, but this just might be the first living room. This is the kitchen. Uh, it's a little narrow kitchen. Let me see if we turn on the light. It's kind of, is there a light somewhere in here? Here's the light. Here's the light for the kitchen. So it's not, it's a small kitchen, not offensively small, not like a galley, you know, but you do have decent counter space, nice sink. You got room to do stuff. It's an electric stove, which I don't like. You got this little narrow thing right here. And then the Frigidaire, of course. It's got a nice maker. And there you go. So that's just kind of random. So, you know, you can, you know, two people can shuffle about in here without a problem. We've got some older cabinetry going on here. It uh, does not pass the cereal box test, if you remember the cereal box test, because there's a pantry! And the pantry passes the cereal box test. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, I wanted to show right off of this dining area. This is like the backyard area. Let me see if I can... Uh, how do you unlock this there we go so you come into ooh, look at the birds come off into the little backyard area here and you know it's a big backyard it's just too bad that you know you can't really do much because uh <laughs> you got a lot of barren land and then you got these trees right here you know you can still sit out here and you can look back over that and you can say that's kind of cool so not really something you can really play around with. So going down this hallway, you turn to the left, there's your first, uh, there's your first full bath, full bathroom. So, you know, it's a full bathroom. By the way, I'm using this lav mic. You see right here, this A-Lav lav mic. It's small, 
it is small. It's about the same size as uh, as the rooms that we have already. So, you know, that's an issue for me because, well, for us, because we wanted to have larger rooms. It smells like there were an animals in here at some point. Yeah, it doesn't smell too great in here. Here's the master, which of course is bigger. The walk-in closet, you got a view of the backyard, which the crappy thing is, since there is no fence for this particular property, literally someone can walk into your backyard from the street. So it kind of makes you not want to keep the blinds open. And you know, the cabinetry is all old and busted. They want 1300 bucks a month for this house, by the way. I don't know if it's the area or what, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Medicine cabinets almost falling off. I don't see the 1300 a month. I tell you, man, when you look at these places online, it's like, wow, you know, this could be not bad. It's decent, decent. That's why you got to go and look for yourself because that's where you see other stuff. But we're not done. We got to go downstairs because this is a split level. So upon going even downstairs further, now this is where things get a little bit good. Let's start over here because you've got this space here that you can do whatever you want with. It can be like a little den area or for me, the recording area. There's your cable hookup right there, which is kind of a weird place to, um, to have the cable hookup because you got the cable hookup there and then your outlet is there or right there. So you're gonna have some stuff. Yeah. yeah, so you might have to stretch it out, but you can put it wherever you want. And if I were to record stuff, you know, it would probably be down here. This bathroom is bigger than the other bathrooms. There's probably a good reason for that because this is also where your washer and dryer goes. Mm -hmm. This is a half bath. This is a half bath, but you got your washer and dryer hookups right there. And you're a little bit underground because you can see like there's the air conditioning unit and everything. And there's your toilet and a drawstring. It works. There's that. Yep, that's to the garage. And the garage is a garage and you know, I don't really need to look in there, but if you insist, it's like, oh. It's just a spider web. Don't do that. You know how I feel about spiders. And, you know, looking at this house, you know, I'm not feeling it. It's got some, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. You know, if we, whenever we decide to move, whether it was this year or next year, it had to be some place, the baby's stirring, it has to be some place that we plan on living for at least a couple years. Here's the baby. We don't have enough. We don't have much time. We got less than a minute. There she is. So she was patiently waiting for us to finish this. Well, in Berlin, this is not going to be the second house that you live in. Uh, but you know, that's what reconnaissance is all about. We got to make sure that everything is perfect for you. Okay, I'm gonna leave her alone. Probably go to the store and get some food and uh, sit around and do nothing. And I'll be looking for more houses. And uh, yeah, wish us luck. That's it. Ceiling looks a little dirty up there. Anyway, see ya.